Welcome back, everybody, to American Truck Simulator. I'm an old guy gaming, and I have my new toy. So the first thing is I have my head tracker. So this is me moving my head, looking at the screen. Very cool. We can look to the left. We can look to the right. We can look up. We can look down. We can go forward and back. This is the default settings. I have not tweaked this at all. This is just basically out-of-the-box settings. However, I did have to do a little bit of research um, oh, wow, we can even lean uh, a little bit of research to figure out how to actually get it to work with uh, with the game itself. Um, basically, you have to set up a profile thingy in the tracker software itself uh, to get it to work. But yeah, it's working. Uh, I'll probably need to tweak it some, you know, as we go, but it's working. Second cool thing is I also have my whoa, what was that? Oh, that's weird. Okay. <laughs> if I put my hand, uh, I'm, I'm using the little tracker pro thing that's connected to my headset here on the left-hand side. Um, the other thing is, is I've got my, my TH8A shifter, my Thrustmaster TH8A shifter. So yeah, I got those two things for, for my birthday, which come, is coming up uh, on the 11th. And um, so now we can actually shift for realsies and try this out. So let's give it a try and see what happens. So we are going to put in the clutch here. Um, I have the stick set up to uh, with ranged shifting rather than switch shifting. Um, but I can switch that on my steering wheel. But I thought, you know, because I don't have the thumb switch right on the shifter, it would be better to use ranged instead of switching. Um, so, yeah, that's the way I've got to set it up because otherwise I'd have to use my left hand. Oh, wow, that's really weird, man, if I put that in front of there. I'd have to use my left hand to, to constantly be switching, and I don't want to have to do that. I want, you know, I want to just use the, the right shifter. So if you look in the uh, lower right-hand corner in my trip advisor, with the current range that we have now, it doesn't give me any indication. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> I can look up at my dash what range I'm in. But if I shift into what would be first gear, you can, uh, I'm actually in second, but if I hit the, the range shifter, then it's first. So basically the lower range is one, three, five, seven, and nine, and then reverses R1. But if I go into the second range, then it goes two, four, six, eight, ten, and this is a 10 speed truck. So if if we get into a you know a higher uh, a truck with more gears you know then we'll have to figure out at that point what works better, uh, and I might get you know the little Eaton Fuller add-on thingamadoodle that you can get as well at some point in the future at, you know as we get more into the game. Uh, so anyway, cool man, I'm looking forward to uh, trying all this out. So let's see what are we doing? Let's go into the map here, and we are. Yeah, currently in Bakersfield, and we, we are on our way to Barstow to finish this current job that we have. We have a trailer full of cheese, I think it is. Um, so we're going to pull out and do that. We do have something to discover, probably a recruitment center or maybe a dealer. This is a Kenworth dealer that we discovered uh, there before we pull out. We did fuel up um, in the last episode, so we're good to go there. So, yeah, let's head on over to Barstow. And uh, try out our new toys here. Okay, so you have to bear with me because <laughs> this is all new, uh, but it's really cool. So I'm going to switch into R2, and I, I don't know if the head tracker can go far enough to the left to for me to look out the window. Uh, so I'm just going to use the hot key for that for now. Um, actually, let's take a quick look around our truck and make sure. Um, I guess, yeah, this view. We got that guy behind us, but we should have plenty of room to back up and then uh, pull around. Okay, so, yeah, let's do this. We'll switch over to here. And I also have... Oh, parking brake. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> parking brake, dude! Gotta take the parking brake off! Okay. Parking brake has been dis uh, taken off. 
There we go. Okay, so we're looking out the back here. Um, man, the thing is, is I can't also simultaneously check that mirror while I'm backing up. So I think you can do that. I think I just have to figure out how to set up the range so that it works. Okay, so we are in the the higher range. Um, so you know what? I wonder if we should actually start off in the low range because then I can start off in third. And then go right to five. Oh, that is so cool, you guys, using that shifter. It just makes everything feel so much more realistic, you know? All right, so we're in the fifth gear here. And we're going to need to come around this way. And I can look in my mirror without having to take my hand off the shifter. Oh, this is really cool. That's one, you know, having these two things enhances this game tremendously, I have to say. Okay. So I guess, yeah, we'll stay in this um, lower. Well, yeah, see, switching from five to seven there was a little bit jank. We can get a little closer to the light. Uh, we actually need to turn left here, too. So I wonder if I'm... Let's try something. Well, once we get out on the road here, I keep forgetting I can just look. That is so neat. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so we're starting off in third. It's going to take me a little while to get used to this. But can I do this? Can I switch range without putting the clutch in? No, I have to put the clutch in first. That goes to eight. Uh, oh no, that just went to seven. Have to put the clutch in. Okay, went to eight. Went to seven. Okay, so I don't actually have to move the gear shift. I just have to let off the gas and then I can switch the range right on the wheel. All right, I'll have to get used to that because it seems to me like that's probably the way we should be doing this. Cool, man. All right, let's head on over to Barstow. It's, uh, it's only um, 116 miles, 2 hours and 31 minutes uh, in game time. Okay, let's head on up to... Okay, 10th gear. Oh, nobody's coming, are they? Okay, let's switch back down. That was unexpected. Look at that guy working out there. Cool. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is go up to 10th, but I'm going to switch to 9th. Yeah, it's going to take me a little bit to get used to this. I can see where having the, the little Eaton Fuller switch add-on thing is, would make a huge difference. But, I, you know, I'll get used to it this way for now, and, and then we'll switch later on. Okay. I'm also going to have to try and be mindful of excessive head movements for you guys, you know, watching so you don't get uh, seasick, <laughs> motion sickness here. Okay, so we are 52 miles an hour. I'm going to hit this key here, which will re yeah, recenter the tracking device. And it really still sounds like we could go back up to ninth gear. So yeah, let's do that at this point. All right, here we go, man. I do feel like I'm still a little too far to the to the left. Well, maybe not. I don't know. I just got to get used to it, I suppose. Should probably stay in my own lane too, huh? Okay, so we have the cruise control on now. 
and now we're just cruising. Whoa. So, <laughs> I'm not drunk, I promise. <laughs> it's like just so many things to keep track of and try and remember. I'll get used to it though. Okay, so we have um, 75 miles to go. Wow, that is so cool. Look at that, man. I can look up into my dash. I can lean back and just cruise. I love it. So there's still going to be a few things, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm going to need to tweak. But, I mean, it's working. And it's not it's working relatively well considering it's just out of the box, you know, for the adjustments and so forth. What happens if I do another recenter? Not really. It's it stayed on pretty good there. Putting my head um or I'm sorry, my hand in front of it might have messed up the calibration on it a little bit too. I'm guessing. I might need... To, it feels like I have to turn my head further to the right than I should have to to look in my in that mirror. So that's something I'm going to have to tweak. I'll, you know, I'll work on all that stuff off camera though, of course. Gonna need to slow down here. Oh, and we're merging too. Yeah. Okay, let's get back into this gear and then switch to. What are we at? Oh, okay. So that's seventh. And then to get into eighth, there we go. Okay. Yeah, it just takes a little getting used to is all. We'll get there though. Okay, now let's go on up to here, but switch it back down to ninth. 39 miles to go. And we're in 10th gear. I like it. You know, we did we did okay, I think, playing the game without the eye tracker and the and the better shifter. But yowzers. <laughs> it just it makes it so much better, you know. All right, why is that not? Oh, because I forgot to put the clutch in, so it was stuck in neutral. All right, are we gonna, looks, are we gonna turn left up here? Looks like we will, but do we get off on the right to turn left? I'm not sure. Let's just kinda see what the deal is. We need to go Barstow left lane, okay. So let's get on over into the left lane and let's shift that to. Oh no. <laughs> All right, we need to get back down into this gear and then up into that gear. There we go. Yeah, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about when I say the Eaton Fuller add-on uh, or something like SDKS or something, basically it's a truck shifter that you replace the knob on your normal shifter and it's got, you know, like the thumb switches that an actual truck shifter will have so you can switch ranges and swi and, and do switch gear switching and that sort of thing. Um, so I guess that would be the, you know, the next thing that we would get. Okay. 
trying to focus on driving and talking to you guys and figuring all this out. It's a lot for my old brain to think about, you guys. It's fun, though. It's good stuff. Yeah, I know I need to shift, but let's just, since we're getting off here. I think I want to make another adjustment to, also, to my, um, yeah, it, I'm, I feel like I'm turning too far this way to look to the right, so we're going to have to work on tweaking that. And I can't actually look as far to the left as I want to. Oh my goodness, I stalled the truck out. Okay, so we're clear that way, and I think we're clear that way. Oh boy. <laughs> Find your gear, man. Okay, we need to... There. That's the gear we want. Don't laugh. <laughs> Quit laughing at me, you guys. It's just all new to me. It's not it's not that I don't know what to do. It's like, okay, how do I actually do it, you know? Blah. Okay, let's stop here. Um, I'm going to go back into this range because I think third gear for this load anyways is okay for starting out with. Yeah, third gear is not bad. I don't know, maybe I should go to switching instead of range. The, one of the problems is I'm not timing the clutch quite right, so when that happens it looks like it just throws the truck into neutral. So it's just going to take some practice. That's all there is to it, man. Okay, we're turning left up here. We're delivering cheese. The light's green. Oh, don't turn red on me. Okay. I don't trust those yellow lights, man. Hey, this is that Eddie's place. Oh, are you kidding me? Is this the same thing as before? Oh, it is. Oh, I hate this place. <laughs> Why do the cars have to be there? Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay, here. Let's get up to the thing. This is the same exact place that we had to do that parking job in. Oh, fuck. Man, for Pete's sake. Okay, I got to figure out. I really need to know how I can look further to the left so I can look out. I'm pretty sure you can do that. Anyway, here, let's let's do this. All right, 90 XP. Oh, boy. <laughs> here we go again, you guys. Oh, boy. Okay, so how did we do this last time? We, we pulled all the way in, then we kind of wrapped it around. It wouldn't be that bad if those doggone cars weren't there is the problem, you know? Uh, here, let's also recenter that. That'll help a little bit. Man, okay, so. What we got, I don't, well, can we actually pull far enough into here to then get our trailer around without hitting something else. Let's take an outside look at the situation here. Maybe, actually, maybe so. We might be able to make this work. Uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to go a little bit further forward, and I think I'm going to just... Let's go into the low range, because we're not, we're not making any fast movements here. Okay, now... Uh, let me look outside again for a second. We're going to want to crank the wheel... This... No, this way. To start backing the trailer up. Okay. 
Whoops. What did I just do? That's not what I meant to do. And let's hop into this view. Okay, back to this view for a second. Are we gonna hit that car? No, I think we're good. Yeah, I gotta do that with the keyboards um, buttons. Okay, let's stop for a minute and look around. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. We can start swinging that. I want, did I have a longer trailer last time or was it just cause I'm such a noob? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so far so good. No, no, don't beep at me. No beeping allowed. Okay, let's look into this mirror. Okay, it looks pretty clear. I think we're good so far. I think we're good so far. All right, back to this view. Don't be staring at me, dude. You're making me nervous. Okay, let's stop for a minute. And are we anywhere near that gate? I don't think so. I think we're, oh, we got lots of room. Okay, we're good. We're doing good. We don't even have to get it in there perfectly the first time. We just have to, oh. That trailer was not there last time. <laughs> Crap, this just got harder. Oh, balls. Okay. <laughs> All right. We are going to have to get that thing right on in there, aren't we? Okay. So let's get back into gear here. Um, what I think we need to do is kind of come this way, but not... Okay. We're right up against the curb there. All right. Now... Okay, let's check this view. Wow, that just made this a lot harder. Okay, how are we doing? Um, we're, uh, hmm. I don't know if I can get that in there without hitting the truck on the fence. I, I think we need to try it again okay so let's go forward maybe even come all the way out to here okay now we really want to start cutting it hard here Okay, stop. That's not going to work. I don't think we can get that to work. We got to come at it. Okay. Let's come over to here. Right to here. Okay. Um, actually, here, I want to try and straighten my trailer out a little bit more too if we can all right let's get into reverse and get into this view we can't let the front of our truck get that close to the fence so we have to come at it from a, a little bit straighter angle and then cut it hard right here Oh, lordy. <laughs> it's close. <laughs> okay, stop. Get out of the truck. Look around. We are seriously close to that building, but I think we might have this, you guys. Oh, boy. This is nerve-wracking. Okay. All right. And the wheel's really fighting me. Oh, we're going to hit the building. Okay, is it possible... Yeah, we can go forward a little bit here. That's exactly what we need to do. Oh, 
Okay, this is good. This is good. Uh, looks like we're okay on that side for the moment. Let's take another look outside. Oh, uh, yeah, we're good, man. We got this. Okay, so back into reverse. There we go. Look at that, you guys. It almost makes me look like I know what I'm doing. Yay! We did it! Woohoo! All right, we got an excellent rating. We have proficiency bonus level three, skill rank three, and we are up to level five. Hallelujah! <laughs> Look at that. Uh, okay, so um, that's awesome. All right, current company job offers. This is from. Oh, they want us to level. All right, I think we need to start putting some points now into high value cargo and fragile cargo. Uh, or we could even go hazardous because th this stuff's going to give us more payouts. So if we went hazardous, we got explosives, flammables, gas, flammable, probably liquid. Uh, what is that? Gases? That's poisons. That's corrosive. Explosives. Huh. All right. Well, we'll look at that. But I, let's let's go ahead and put a point into say high value cargo. Okay. There we go. So that's going to open up some options for us. Empty pallets from Barstow to Santa Cruz for eight thousand. That's just with this company though. Um. Yeah, we don't necessarily want to. Wait a minute. What? How do I? How do I not work for Eddie's? Okay, let's get back out. Oh, we might want to put our brakes on and get back into this view. <laughs> okay, here, yeah, let's put our let's put our brake on, and we're in neutral, right? Yeah, okay. Let's go back into here and hit the job market from this side, freight market. There we go. That's what we want. Okay, so we're currently in Barstow. I'd like to go into Arizona because we haven't been to Arizona yet. Um. And we want to ideally start from Barstow if we can. I guess we could go back to Bakersfield. That's not that far back, but let's see what we got here. Aircraft engine. That's light. That's going to be a high value. This is a dumpster to Gallup, New Mexico. Oh, okay. So this would take us through um, Arizona and into New Mexico here. And it'll pay twenty thousand dollars, thirty-seven point eight six cents a mile, uh, but it's gonna be a nine-hour trip, of course. But we could get started on it in this episode and then finish it in the next episode. Just looking to see what else is from Barstow. That goes back up to Ready. Now I don't want to go back up north, California, right now. That would go north. This would go south. Empty pallets. That's the one we just looked at. Lots of stuff from Barstow. Okay, this one's nineteen thousand dollars, but it's going again. It's going back up to Northern California, which I don't really want to go back that direction for now. This goes to Yuma. Okay, yeah, I like this this one going to Gallup for twenty thousand dollars. Right here. Um, it's it's a dumpster. Oh, is it? A, it's a bunch of dumpsters. It's on a flatbed trailer. Yeah, let's let's take this one. I think we're gonna take this one. So set as GPS destination. Uh, all right, let's look at our map here. Uh, what? Okay. Is there anything in Barstow that we need to discover? I don't think so. Okay, so we're gonna want fuel. How are we doing on sleep? There's a place to sleep up that way. We just have to go over to the rail yard to get that. Uh, there's a fueling and sleeping place there. 
Well, actually, yeah, let's go get our cargo first and then and then we'll worry about what we're gonna do. Okay, so we're gonna turn right and then left to get to the rail place. Okay, cool. All right, here we go. Um, we can easily start out in third. If we remember to put take our parking brake off, we'll put it back on first before we restart <laughs> the truck. Oh boy, can't take me anywhere, man. Okay, parking brake's off and we are ready to go. What? Now it's off. Okay. And we're gonna do a righty tidy up here. Nobody's coming that way. Yeah, I need to be able to look further to the left. So that is the first thing I've got to figure out how to adjust on this wheel. Oh. All right, you know what? Uh, here, let's look at something real quick. Let's go into options. Let's go into controls, I think. Okay, so right now we can shift with either the clutch or the throttle. Clutch press throttle release, clutch or throttle. All right. Now see that doesn't work. Um, I have to actually put the clutch in to get into the gear. Huh. It said clutch or throttle. Oh, turn signal. Yep, same thing. Okay, so we gotta get the clutch in all the way. There we go. Uh, where are we turning at? Just up here on the left? Wait. Is this where we're going? I thought we were going to a, a train station. We do need to get some fuel, though. Okay. Parking brake on. Turn the engine off. Refuel. We gotta look at the map again. Why did that send us? Why did that send us to the fuel place? Did I? I maybe I accidentally set a a waypoint for that, not meaning to. All right. Well, anyway, we're gonna turn right and then go all the way down the road and then turn left to go to the rail place. Okay. Yeah. So I've gotta I gotta put the clutch in all of the way to shift uh, and I'm just not fully depressing it you know so that's why I, I'm having a little bit of trouble there uh, oh yeah that's just the payment that always freaks me out when I hear it okay the problem that I'm having with using the, the man, I can't hardly look all the way over there uh, what are you doing? You gonna wait for me? Okay, thanks, bud. Uh, with having the the shifter splitter thingamadoodle on the steering wheel is, you know, when I got the steering wheel cranked all the way over, I can't quite get to that button, so it's not an ideal scenario. It works okay as long as the wheel is more or less straight, but... Nope. Okay, we're going a little too fast. But this is where we're going to want to turn left up here.
Okay. We want to take the dumpsters, train axles to, yeah, this one here. Still don't know what that GPS thingy means. Take job. Treasure's ready to proceed to the loading area. Okay, where is the loading area? I'm not seeing it. Yeah, definitely have to fix that. Looking to the left. I think it's... Yeah, there it is. I couldn't see the little white bouncy thingy over the top of it because it's right in the sky there. Those are the train wheels, which was that other job. Okay, let's get into reverse here. And... Uh, we need to be in R1. There we go. What the heck? Alright. Something's weird. It won't, it's not letting me... If you're having trouble attaching the trailer adjusting the suspension, the height the might, might help. How do I do that? Adjusting the suspension height. First time I've seen that. Brake, trailer brake, re lift drop, axle differential, front suspension, up, down. Ah, okay, that's not even mapped. Um. Okay. Why don't we map this to my stick over here? Well, we want rear suspension though. Or at least in this particular case. I'm just trying to figure out what the best buttons are for that. I don't even <laughs> I don't remember what I mapped to this before. Uh, okay, here. Maybe we should use the keyboard for this instead. So what we're going to do is for front suspension up. Why don't we do, can we do like a control up? Lost function assignment throttle. Oh, yeah, well, that doesn't matter. We're not using that for that anyway. Okay. This will be rear suspension up and rear suspension down. And then to reset, um, how about end? Okay. Now, if we look out here and we go... All right. I'm picking up what you're putting down. More? That's as low as it goes, baby. There we go. I guess I wasn't fully lined up either. Fantastic. Okay. All right, you guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. Um, so let's make sure our parking brake's on. And turn that around. We'll cut the engine. And let's go into here and save the current game. Uh, I'm just going to use, I'm going to overwrite the save five. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm going to spend a little bit of time off camera uh, tweaking with my head tracker. I'm pretty sure I can look far enough left to look out the window uh, so I don't have to, you know, fiddle with the, with the keyboard. Um, and then I'm not really sure what to do about my split option my splitter option it's it's not ideal having it on my wheel um but it's got to be you know i have to have it immediately available to for smooth shifting so 
I'll have to figure that out. I'm probably just plain going to have to get used to it. Either that or I could... I guess I could map it to my my heavy equipment panel. Um... Yeah, I'll have to think about that. But anyway, I'm I'm gonna get I'm gonna tweak those settings and try and you know get them working a little bit better uh, before the next episode. Now, speaking of the next episode, uh, I have to fly to New York on Friday, and I'm gonna be gone for a little over a week. I will try to get one more episode out this week before I leave. But if I don't, um, don't worry. It doesn't mean I've stopped doing American Truck Simulator. It just means that I'm out of town, and I should be back um, on the 17th late in the day so you know sometime a day or two after that um we'll continue this series um but here again if i can I'll, I'll try and get one more episode out before i leave but if not you know definitely when i get back uh on the 17th a couple days after that so just want to let you guys know that uh so you know that uh, we're still definitely having fun with this game guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the episode if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye